Metastasis is a frightening feature of cancer. Even small tumors can shed cancer cells long before tumor diagnosis and removal. Most of these cells will die, but some may manage to infiltrate distant organs. What they do next depends on the type of cancer. In some cancers, the shed cells may not grow into full-blown metastasis for years or decades, or never, if the treatment is effective. But lung cancer is different, with rapid course of metastasis to the brain and bones. Now, when caught early, some lung tumors have spread and others haven't yet. This suggested to us that metastasis depends on some added feature beyond the mutations that get these tumors started. So we use bioinformatics to interrogate large collections of lung tumor samples. We search for cell signaling pathways that are hyperactive in tumors that went on to metastasize, but not in tumors from patients who were saved. Of six pathways that we checked, only one scored. That was the wind pathway. Now, in this pathway, wind factors bind to cell surface receptors to trigger the accumulation of the protein beta-catenin in the nucleus. There, beta-catenin works with the factor TCF to activate certain genes. The wind pathway is known to be critical in stem cells, in embryo development, and in the maintenance of the intestinal mucosa. In fact, mutations that activate the wind pathway are a common cause of colon cancer. However, lung tumors are initiated by mutations in other genes. Wind mutations are infrequent. So we were surprised that a hyperactive wind pathway would be responsible for metastasis in lung cancer. Yet more experiments show this to be the case. Lung cancer cells with typical tumor-initiating mutations in genes KRAS or EGFR additionally depended on a hyperactive wind pathway for metastasis after inoculation into the bloodstream of mice. We went on to find two genes activated by wind, the genes HOXB9 and LEV1, that enhance the ability of lung cancer cells to invade and reinitiate tumor growth. These are functions that cancer cells need in their quest to conquer other organs, and that lung cancer cells are extracting from the wind pathway. These findings may point at ways to prevent lung cancer from repeatedly seeding and reseeding itself like a plague through the vital organs of a patient.